Hello, once again, we're here at the corner of Drake and Weston. Let's do another great day. Um, so today, on my weekly agenda, we see that today we got a couple things to do. We got bell work, working on the must-haves of those words. Pretty simple. Let's take a look at them. These words um, are kind of easy. Civilization, how would you describe a civilization? How would you describe a theocracy? We talked about theocracy in our notes about Egypt. Uh, so we can always take a look back at that. Pictograph is kind of how they write. So how would you describe Egyptian writing? And then city-states is kind of like what um, Egypt was before they unified. So where each city kind of acted its own territory. So it's almost like each city was its own country. So how would you describe a country? How would you describe a state? That's how kind of how I would do those. When you get to here, we got watch the Gift of the Nile and then the Gift of the Nile uh, reading. So let's look at Gift of the Nile. It is a video. It's one of my music videos um, it's not as good as my economics video this one is not bad i like it um but you see the singing history teacher you see it is approved by east noble so make sure you sign into your east noble account up there to make sure it works for you if not sign out sign in and then see if it works if that still doesn't work close out you can do that all again okay after that i want you working on the gift of the now reading which looks like this as you see here a little bit of some reading and then five questions at the end these five questions are all about the reading. There's no need to go to Google or anything like that. So he says, please write in complete sentences. Um, they are in order. So the first one, why was the Egypt called the Gift of Nile? Okay, so why did they call it that way? Well, if you read the first paragraph, it's probably going to give you the answer. Hey, look at that Gift of the Nile is right there. So they're going to kind of tell you, and they are in order. So the first one is in the first paragraph, and then the second one, and so on. There are about five paragraphs in here, five questions. So it's almost like it's a coincidence. All right, so read. Okay, answer it in complete sentences for me and then turn it in on Canvas. Okay, right there. So just go ahead and turn it in for me. All right, and that's all I got to do for today. Uh, and then we'll work on all that stuff tomorrow. All right, if you have any questions, you can always hit me up on Teams, email me, whatever you got to do. Get a hold of me. All right, see you guys.